Welcome to solving quadratic equations by graphing. Uh, this first problem here is that we're going to solve x squared minus 6x plus 2 equals 0 by graphing. Now, Desmos is a fast way, but if you don't have access to that, then let's use the TIs. So first thing we're going to do is enter this equation into as a function, as a function. So x squared minus 6x plus 2. Now we're going to graph that. And now if your window is way off, you can always press window here, excuse me. We can press the zoom and see the number 6 says Z standard. That means zoom standard, which means high low of 10s. So notice positive 10 here, negative 10 here on each axis. Now what we know from what we were just talking about is that our there are other names for the answers of a quadratic equation. If we're looking for the solutions of the equation, another way of saying it is that they are the x-intercepts of the graph. The x-intercepts of the graph. So let's come here. My x-intercept looks to be somewhere around here and this one somewhere around here. So how do we get to it accurately? Well, you can press the trace button and try to, but notice this one jumps and I can't really tell 0.21 something, 0.4, ah, it's somewhere in between there. And the same thing, if I scroll over and over and over, I'm going to get close, but notice it's going to jump. See how it jumps across the axis right there? I just don't know exactly how accurate that is. So there's a better way, and I'm going to use the calc button up there, which is above trace. So do second and calc, and notice we get this menu. And like we said earlier, there's a couple different names for functions, and one of those right here, see that, is the roots is also a name for solutions. And the TI uses the word, let me try that again, zeros. Uh, so the TI uses zeros. So we're going to press the number 2. And now this up here tells you which equation you're on. And we only have one equation in our y equals menu. So that's the function we're on. And down here it asks us to be on the left bound. So I'm going to focus on this point right here. So I'm going to right, 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 use my cursor. I have to use the left and right buttons, not the up and down, although we're tempted to. So go left, left, left until I pass that point. So now I've passed that point. So I hit enter. A little uh, arrow shows up there, pointing it in the right word direction. Now, the next thing it says is right bound. So I go right, right, right until I pass that point. And I've passed this point right here. I'm down here now, but I'm also to the right, like that. So hit enter. The arrows here say that my zero is between those two. So I manually tell the calculator to look only in this region. Uh, guess is an option. You can guess, but really you just hit enter. And notice what we get, 0 0.5. 0 0.354. So I can write that down as a uh, as a solution right here. Uh, and this one asks me to round it to the nearest. Now let me go ahead and just do a check real quick. quick. So I'm going to use the 354 as a check. So watch the magic on this one. So I'm going to exit out of here. And remember that I have the function up here already written in as a y1. So I'm going to use function form and call up y1 like you see on my screen right now. So how do I get that y1? Well, press the vars button. We're going to scroll right to go to the y variables. See the function button? Just hit function and y1 is right there. And we hit enter. That's actually a very fast process. You do, let me show you again real quick. You do vars, do go right, hit enter, enter, and that's it. Now do parentheses, 0 0.354, and what this says is this is function form. Evaluate this function, y1, at x is 0 0.354. So when I hit enter, I should get a number very close to 0, because remember, my answer went farther, my solution went farther. And look at that, 0 0.0013. Good, so this right here acts as a check, and this is pretty close to 0. So now I'm going to repeat that whole process. But this time, I'm going to be trying to find this point right here. So what do I do? Second and calc. I press the 2 for the 0. Now I'm doing left bound, so I'm going to scroll right, right, right. And any point in time, I'm all already to the left of this point here. So any point, I can hit enter. So I do that. Notice my triangle shows up there. And I go right, 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 right until I pass it. I've passed it. Hit enter. So now calculator focus between in this region. So hit enter again and boom 5.6457. And I'm rounding it to hundreds so I'm just going to write that. But let me go ahead and take this a little bit f accurate. Uh, 5.6458. 
Let's see what happens when we do what we did before, but with a different value. So enter, enter, and now we do 5.6, I forget what it is now, 4, 5, something like that, and then hit enter. And notice, ignoring the negative, this is pretty close to zero, pretty close to zero, and there we go. And that is how we use the graphing calculator TI in order to find our solutions to an equation. We convert the equation to a function, we graph it, and then we estimate the solutions by using the calc menu and finding zeros. Thank you very much.